what did I get from Walmart? Well, let's see what we got. But it definitely has something to do with this. That's the green one or the teal blue. This one has wood green and it's different. A comparison between this one and this one will be coming soon. Now with that being said, here we go. Let's open it up. I'll be right back. This one has black blades, wood grain, better homes and gardens. It's the exact same thing as this. The only difference is that one has a mechanical switch. This one has a push button. It does have the adjustable knob right there. And here goes some specifications. Be sure to read it, starting up here. In Spanish, I don't know if I read that. Let's see if it's in English. Starting again. And now it's in English. If you're to read that, go ahead and pause the video. All right, now, while I'm trying to edit, see if I can get this thing out of here. It is USB C. So I don't know if this is real wood grain or if it's just metal in the wood grain finish. I don't know. So let's see what we got here. Looks like it came with some information. Came with some kind of mango here. Let's see what else it came with. And it came with a power source, a USB-C, and it came with its own dedicated adapter to run the machine at the right amperage. You don't want to overrun it on a higher amperage that could potentially damage the fan. You don't want that to happen. It kind of does feel like wood grain. Yeah, this is the real deal. I don't... Let's see. I could be wrong. No, that's not the real deal. Because listen to it. That's metal, isn't it? Now, listen to this. So, yeah, that's metal. It's just metal in the wood grain finish so that's pretty cool here's the black blades there's some information on the bottom here four watts 0 0.88 amps it's quite a bit for a little tiny fan here made in the china not good at all but it is your listed so it should last the model number is e30 2275 could be wrong, I'm not sure. Nope, that's the wrong model number. That's some other number. So the model number is uh, SFD 125B DC, or yeah. Item number has all kind of crazy numbers. I don't know. But, anyways, there you go. There's the information. So now we're going to plug it in and let's see if it works. Hold on. All right, let's see what we got. Push button. Starting off full of power. This thing moves a lot of air for a drum fan, that's for sure. Way better than some of the bigger ones I got. That's, I think that's high, medium, and low. Even on low, this thing pushed a good amount of air. I'm impressed with the first one. They had the manual switch. And now I like this one. The only difference between this one and the other one is that it's wood grain and it has the push button instead of the manual switch. Off. Should be brushless. Yep, full power. Wow, for four amps, or four watts, not four amps, but four watts. It's pretty powerful with four watts. It's 0 0.88 amps. All right, this thing's moving a lot of hair. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this one. Unlike this one over here, this one also moves a lot of air because it's the same one. So the older versus the new as far as in terms of the push button and basically that's it and it looks like this one has a little bit more pitch on the blades yeah this one has a little more pitch on the blades i think it might have the same pitch on this one yeah the pitch on this one is, is fairly decent as well so yeah they're both basically the same except for this one in the back has the push button and the lights to show you what speed that's the only difference, and the wood grain, that's the only difference, and that the blade is black. 
But there you go. Um, on the third try, finally this came. But yeah, I like it. It gets right up to speed. Full power. And with a lot of air, too. It feels good. All right. Let's spin it down. You're going to see a lot more videos of this, that's for sure. And the other one. I'll do a comparison. Thanks for watching. The Muck Man Man and out.